Start a Studio is a quick and easy way to build and deploy processes without using code and by only using drag and drop features instead. So let me show you how. To get started, I created an app in Studio called Onboarding. Next, I created a process called Intake Information. This will be the example process that I'll be showing you how to build and deploy. So once we click on Intake Information, we're then taken to the Process Editor. This is where we'll create our process. To get started, let's create the first swim lane. Now, we have our first untitled swim lane. To create a title, let's click the gear icon and name this Profile. Now let's hit Save and add a step. I'm going to name this step Basic Information. You can also choose the step type, prop some properties, and also configure the business rules. Now let's add a field to this step. I'm going to name this field Entity Name. And as you can see, you get a nice little preview here of what the step will look like, sorry, what the field will look like once it's deployed. You can also choose the field type, depending on the type of information you're trying to capture. I'm going to leave it as free text. You can also choose a default value. You can add help text like this. Choose the size of the field. Choose the properties such as making the field mandatory, read only, or hidden. I'm going to make this field mandatory. And of course, you can also configure the business rules of the fields. So let's click Save. There are a couple more fields and steps in swim lanes that I need to add, so let me do that and then come back to you. Okay, so now we have a couple more steps under basic information, a new swim lane for payment information with a step and two fields. Now let's say I want to change the sequence of these two fields and have account name come before account number. All I have to do is select account name, drag it, and drop it where I want to move it, and now the sequence has changed. You can even move a field to another step within another swim lane if you want to, and you can also do this with steps where you can move around the sequence and change the flow of the process as needed. And now next, I want to add business rules. So I only want this account detail step to be visible if the payment type is selected to be EFT. So the two options for payment type that I've configured are EFT and check. And if the user selects EFT, then only will the account detail step be visible. So let's configure that. Let's go to the account detail settings, rules, and configure. Let's add a rule. Let's name it show if payment type is EFT and add a condition if payment type is equal to EFT then the step, step is visible so let's click save and now this icon shows up and we can see that this step has a conditional visibility on payment type so only if payment type is EFT will this step be visible now I also want to add a visibility rule on contact number so that only if the entity name field has been filled out, the contact number field shows up. So let me do that and get back to you. Okay, so contact number also has a visibility rule on it now. As long as the entity name isn't empty, the contact number field will be visible. Another feature you can utilize to build your process is our growing library of templates and modules. So our templates and modules are pre-configured steps and swim lanes that just make building your process a little bit easier. So for example, let me take this tax ID validation step and throw it in here. And you can see everything in this step is already pre-configured. All the fields are there, all the business rules, and even the integration has been configured. So it just makes things very quick and very easy. So let's just say I'm ready to now deploy this workflow and I want to see what it looks like. We have to go up here to save changes. Now let's go back to our app and let's click submit. Now let's hit deploy. Since this is our first deployment, let's just call it first commit and you can describe it as first deployment. Let's hit save and deploy. Okay, so the process has been deployed. Let's go check it out. Go to create new, there it is, intake information, and here it is, entity name. So let's put in Serta. Now that entity name isn't empty, the contact number field shows up. So I'm going to put in a number, and I'm going to select check as my payment type. So once I click submit, as you can see, this example template step that we put in in the end shows up, but not the account detail step. But if we go back, to basic information and select EFT, click submit, 
now like we had configured in the business rules the account details step shows up as well okay so let's go back and see how we can edit the workflow and then redeploy so let's click edit and let's say we just don't want this template step anymore so we're going to click the three dots and hit delete we'll click save changes let's go back and let's submit again let's hit deploy second deployment save and deploy it's deploying okay it's deployed let's go check it out create new and take information and let's see click certa again in a number let's click EFT there we go the tin check step is gone and it's been updated so this was a very simple example that highlighted some of the more basic features of studio and its capabilities there's so much more you can do to make your process even more customized and sophisticated you can add user groups set up role-based access create notification email templates set up integrations and so on if you'd like to see a more in-depth overview of studio or if you have any questions please schedule a demo and someone on our team will be happy to walk you through it thank you